About 400 grams of pins with plastic, which is about 42% of total weight are gold-plated parts. So I've got about 170 grams of pins. By considering one socket weight, I got about 2126 pieces of sockets. Let's begin by preparing the leaching solution. This could be used exactly as the same procedure as Eco Gold Lake's composition. 100 grams of powder dissolved in 1 liter of hot water. After the solution settlement, the clean layer decanted into the leaching vessel. I started adding the pins to the solution. Container place into the warm water bath with occasional stream. Solution decanted after about 30 minutes. Here are the strip SIM card pins. Pregnant solution transfer to another vessel. Then I started filtering the solution. The clean solution transferred to the electrolysis dish. I used a piece of steel wool as the cathode and welding graphite rod as the anode. I run this process for about 2 hours. I started the process with 1 amp. After a few minutes, gold plating was obvious on the steel wool. The end point of the process confirmed by trying to plate out gold on a piece of aluminum foil. Nothing plated out though. I cut the wool piece with the gold plating. The wool piece placed into the beaker and enough hydrochloric acid added to cover it.
I started heating up the solution to speed up steel wool digestion. I boil the foils for a few minutes. Then some water added. Solution filter to catch floating gold foils. Some hydrochloric acid added to start refining process. Then I added enough nitric acid drop wise. I dipped a spent filter papers into the beaker to be processed. And the filtration again. And another transferring again. I forgot to mention I added some sulfamic acid to the nux the solution. Nothing much was left to be the nux, so I start adding some copras. After a few minutes, some SMB added to season the soup. After a few minutes, hey, it's ready for harvest. Great, we got some clean brown dirt. Alright, let's wait it out. Oh, the gold is heavier than it looks. Not bad at all. Thanks for watching.